We've been talking about how out of control Marvel and Disney's budgets have been for a while. Uh, when you look at the MCU, when you look at the massive disappointments, Thor, Love and Thunder, Wakanda Forever, they had these massive budgets. But one thing that people pointed to was, well, you know, Multiverse of Madness almost made a billion dollars on a $200 million budget. Well, as we're finding out, the budget was a lot, a lot more than they initially reported. They said it was $200 million. This was last year when this thing came out. Turns out it's $300 million. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness cost almost $300 million before marketing. Um, and originally, Jeez. $200 million budget. They actually spent $350 million on it and had a $50 million UK tax break because they filmed enough of it in the UK to qualify for that. That's what these new numbers are showing us. That on top of the probably, again, around 125 to $150 million marketing budget for this movie, that means that despite it making $950 million at the worldwide box office, that it barely broke even. That is crazy. So if those are the numbers, then uh, maybe we haven't got the official numbers from some of their other films either because maybe they're a little embarrassed to uh, share that, hey, we made about 10 million bucks on this film, <laughs> even yeah. though it did like a billion in the box office. That is wild, man. And this is, is wild. This is one of the things a lot of people have been talking about. There are people who work very closely with Marvel Studios, uh, even on some projects that they have on Disney Plus right now, who have come out and said they don't really put in the reshoots into these budgets that they're putting out there. Like the production budget, oftentimes, most of the time when you see it put out there, it doesn't include any of the reshoots or extra work that they did. So this makes a lot of sense considering all the different things that went into it, all the chaos surrounding this movie, all the reshoots they did, that they actually spent $350 million and got that $50 million tax break. Like if this is your business strategy, it's destined to fail. If you're spending uh, yeah. this much money, how is it supposed to succeed? It, it's laughable. Obviously, they ain't making money on merchandising either. <laughs> so I don't see the little kids, boys and girls playing with the Doctor Strange action figure. So I, I don't know. Man. That, that is wild that they would make a bunch of films to break even, barely make a little bit to limp over that uh, finish line and say, this is a win. This is a win for all of us. We won. And then like on top of it, like what you pointed out a month ago that a lot of people missed is like, well, it'll make money maybe because we'll sell it to streaming, but they, they're they just selling it to themselves. We'll sell it to Disney Plus, and then that'll make money on top of it, so we'll, we'll be successful. All that has to like take into account. It's one hand to the other. There's no way if you had a business that this could be sustainable. I've been saying this. I just think the Indiana Jones movie is going to be... I'm not saying it's going to be a good change. I just think something's going to change. 